A young man that they say could not be nothing, couldn't do nothing. Amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. We need to understand that we are a part of something bigger than who we are. It's amazing what God should be one foundation. Welcome to a life-changing experience with Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Evangelist Jerry Thompson has a sincere compassion and love for winning souls. Because the love of God has set him free from a life of crime and drugs, the need to go back and reach others has become a passion for Jerry Thompson. He illustrates his gratefulness towards God through the gift of writing and singing that the Lord has blessed him with. May you enjoy the music ministry of Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Welcome to Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. This is yours truly, Reverend Jerry Thompson. Remember, Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry is a ministry where a nobody becomes a somebody. You know, oftentimes we worry about how life is going to turn out, how my future is, and what's going to happen to my kids. There's so many things to worry about. Whether I'm going to lose my job, uh, what's really going on in my life, uh, is things ever going to change for me? This week's message is entitled, for this broadcast, it's entitled, Why Worry? And as I play these songs and sing them for you softly, as uh, the program plays, it's uh, songs such as, One Day at a Time, Why Me Lord? And for those tears I die. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the broadcast. Why worry? Because we all know that Satan is a liar. You remember last, on the last program, we spoke about how Satan was a deceiver. How he was telling you about all the things that he could give you, like extended warranty. That everything is free. Don't worry. Pay later. If it's free, you obviously cannot pay later because Satan is a liar. Now, as we continue reading on the story of the path of Satan in his long list of lies, he says here, take it home with you, use it, and you won't have to pay until later. Old Satan cried as he hawked his wares. The visitor as he browsed, he noticed two well-worn, nondescript tools standing in one corner, not being nearly as tempting as the other items. He found it curious that these two tools had price tags higher than any other of the tools. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Hmm. Satan, you are a liar. When he asks Satan why, he says, why are those tools looking so ugly and worn? Why are they so high in price other than the other items that I have seen so far today? You know what Satan did? Satan laughed. Ha ha ha. My God. Satan laughed because he had to do something to cover up. When a question is faced that is factual and that is truth, Satan often covers it up. He smokes it away. That's who he is. And he said, well, that's because I use them so much. If they weren't so plain looking, people might see them for what they were. I want you to look into that. Jesus spoke in parables. So many people go to and fro every day in their lives. I know there is a Don man, a gangster, one of the biggest gangsters in the world that I know of. And he looks so plain, so normal, so everyday George, you know, hanging out. How you doing, Sam? You know, I was work today. Oh, it was all right, you know. That kind of guy. But this man picks up the phone and evil things happen. This man is a mighty and a powerful man. 
but you would never know because as Satan says, well, that's because I use them so much. Satan uses so many simple people to do evil deeds every day of their lives. If they, were, if they weren't so plain looking, people might see them for what they are. What are you today? Are you evil? Do you possess the devil? Or does the devil possess you? If you possess the devil, you have him under your feet. If the devil possesses you, he has you under his feet. You need to think on these things because he's using simple people to do evil things. And as he says right here, and I, I like to read this for you to fully get the understanding of what I'm trying to say. He says here, if you listen to the word, if they were not so plain looking, people might see them for what they were. That means that they would find out that Jackal and Hyde is actually a killer, an evil person. Two in one, one possessing the other. Good and evil should not dwell in the same place. Light and darkness cannot dwell in the same place. You need to decide whether you're going to be the light of this world or you're going to live continuously in darkness. Listen to what Satan continued with his ploy. Satan pointed to the two tools saying, you see, that one's doubt. That's what he calls this tool. He calls this tool of his doubt. And he knows that doubt is a number one killer. Because if they can put doubt in your mind, if you go to court and you do not have a, a, and you have a good lawyer, even though you are a murderer, you put doubt in the judge's mind, you're going to sway him to your side in favor of you. In favor of you. Even though you've committed the crime. But doubt, it must be beyond a reasonable doubt. But if you are a strong liar, you can put reasonable doubt in, your, in, the, in, the, in the judge's mind and he will acquit you. But listen to the deception that Satan comes with. And that's, that one is discouragement. The devil is a liar. Why worry when you got Jesus? Why worry when you're a believer? Why worry when you have the Father in your heart? Listen to what Satan is saying. Discouragement is his second weapon of killing, of merciless killing. And those will work when nothing else will. Do you understand that? In the other words, when you do not choose to believe in the will, a will is something that you can't change. A will is God's word because God's word cannot change. So he says when nothing else will work, when you fail to believe in God's word, he says discouragement and doubt never fails. Period. It never fails. Because if he can put doubt in your mind, if he can put discouragement in your mind, he will win you. He will own you. He will take your soul. He will kill you. He will take away your life because that's what he does. Listen now, when we tend to over worry about things, automatically we, we will become depressed and develop feelings of hopelessness and helplessness, which in turn will rob us of our faith and our dependence also on God. And Satan will use things against us in letting us doubt if God will deliver us out of the problems. Jesus, while he was here on earth, knew that he would be faced with the demon of worry. Matthew chapter 6 and verses 25 to 34 says, we read this. Reassurance that he has given us, to us, the help that we need in time of trouble or in time of worry. Don't worry, because Jesus tells us that he is there to reassure us. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your, your life, what you will eat and drink, nor about your body, what you will put in 
it? Is it not more important to think more about life than just clothing and what you will eat? Look at the birds of the air. They neither reap nor sow. They neither have a place for a storehouse, but they fly daily. Are you not better than the birds? That is a question, answer. Are you better than the birds? Do you have a storehouse? Word of God says, store your treasure where rust and moth will not corrupt. Is your treasure your bank book tonight? Is your treasure the woman that you're in love with or the man that you're in love with? Is your treasure your car? Is your treasure the house that you dwell in? Store your treasure where rust and moth will not corrupt, which is through Jesus Christ. He's more than fine gold. He's more than fine wine. He's more than anything that you can or cannot see because Jesus Christ is truly the treasure of our times therefore I say to you do not worry about your life what you will eat and drink nor about your body what you will put on it is not life more than food and clothes consider do you have a storehouse in your barn yet your heavenly father feeds them the birds does not have a storehouse but God feeds them they fly right now I could hear them my God your life must be better than that it says here are you not of more value than they which of you by worrying can add one cubic to his or her life one cubic can you add flesh to someone's body can you add life to someone's body one cubic can you give them an extra day can you create a simple thing as the, the soil that you stand on so how then and why then do you worry if God can create all these things and made you why then do you worry is God not more powerful than what you worry about so why do you want to go and see the shrink or the doctor to try to fix you because you worry see the doctor and if you truly want to see the doctor who is the doctor of all doctors go back to the man who made you go back to the one who created you because who better to know how to fix you than the person who made you? And put your trust in Him and don't worry. Thank you for tuning into Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. Oftentimes we worry about so many things. Uh, hopefully I can get a job. How am I going to pay these bills? I hope they don't cut my phone off. Uh, the car payments is running behind. My mortgage is in arrears. You know, so many things. But you know what? When you worry, you cannot add to solving any of those problems today's message to you is why worry listen to this now which of you by worrying can add one cubic to his or her stature so why do you worry about clothing consider the lilies of the field how they grow and they neither toil nor spend and yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these now if God so clothed the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven will he not much more clothe you or your little faith have some faith have some faith have a little bit of faith in the one you love. Have a little bit of faith in the one you love. He made the night so warm and the days are never lonely. Have a little faith in the one you love. Come on, have some faith in the one you love. 
Now listen to me. Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For all these things the Gentiles did seek. The Gentiles did seek it. Remember that. You are not a Gentile, or are you? That is the question that only you can answer. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is so wonderful to see that we're still serving the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. Please support this ministry right now by calling this number on the screen and ordering your CD by Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Please call now and support this ministry and help us get guns off the street. That's it. Oh. I'm not a preacher man that's coming with you, throwing the Bible at you, looking down at you. I am you, my brother. But with a difference, I made a choice. And the choice that I chose was Jesus Christ. That was the only difference. I chose Jesus Christ. Choose ye to whom he served. A man cannot serve two masters. Many of us are worried by so many different things in the world today. And worrying never helps to add an hour to the day. Never helps to do any good thing. Worry takes away your health. It's bad for so many things. Ladies and gentlemen, may you enjoy the program. Why worry? Think on these things. Are you a Gentile or are you not? The word Gentile does not necessarily mean people who are non-Jewish, the word Gentile also is used to describe heathens and pagans. In other words, people who do not know or worship one true God. Do you worship God today, the one true God? Do you worship Him? A question you alone can answer. Listen to me now, in Matthew, in Matthew 32, we continue. For your heavenly Father knows what you need, all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all other things will be added unto you. All other things. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep on going because that is the message right there. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all other things will be added unto you. That means the devil will be thrown away. You'll be taken out of your way. You will now get prosperity. You'll no longer have to trust. You'll no longer have to borrow. You'll no longer have to worry because God will supply all your needs. He promised me and He has kept His promise with me, to me. And I know that if He can do that for me, I know He can do it for you, church sisters, church brothers, men and women of God. Because we're all human beings and God made us all. We're all His creation. So we are all men and women of God. So come, come into Him, come to Him now. Call that number on that screen. Make a plea, make a covenant with God, the way in which He made a covenant with you, covenant for David, made a covenant with the Word of God, because He said, before His Word should go void, heaven and earth will pass away. Listen to me. Here in these verses, we see that Jesus is telling us not to worry about anything. He wants us to trust Him, trust in God after the things of God and He will provide the solutions and take care of you. The things that we are worrying about, in other words, He is telling us that we should live one day at a time. One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that is all I'm asking of you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Oh, yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. Lord, help me today, show me the way, one day at a time. One day at a time. That's all God is asking of you. That's all He's asking you. It is not. It is not a very easy task to rid ourselves of the tendencies to worry, especially if we have developed this negative habits over a lifetime. I know it's not easy. It's not easy. 
I know that. It wasn't easy for me to put my gun down. It wasn't easy for me to stop prostitution and pimping. It was not easy for when all these women came upon me for me to say no. It's not. When the doors are closed and you're alone between that rock and a hard place, it's not easy. But God said, don't give up. Have a little bit of faith. Hold on. Because he has never caused the righteous to be forsaken. He will never forsake you nor leave you. He's with you. I know you're saying to yourself, but God, you know, I, the reason why I haven't really changed is because all this time, I, I know I'm going to keep doing it again. You're lacking faith, my brother. You're lacking faith, my sister. If you keep saying that, you will never change. If I kept saying that, 14 years ago, I would not be here today spreading the good news and taking this word of God to you to change your life. No, I'm not perfect. And if you're looking for a perfect man, turn this channel right now. But I know something. I'm not what I used to be. I may not be what God wants me to be, but I'm not what I used to be. I'm coming up from the rough side and I'm doing my best to make it in. So come on to Jesus. Jesus loves you. Come on today. Jesus wants you to be a part of his kingdom. He wants, he said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. I can only live in one house. Come on. Come on home. God loves you. He, 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 he wants to see you saved. He wants to sup with you. He, wants, he says, come sit, reason with me. Come and reason with him. I'm reasoning with you now on his behalf. I'm not worthy, but he favored me. God gave me favor. He took away the badness and he gave me goodness. He took away, he took away pain and gave me joy. He took away sorrow and gave me gladness. He took away, he took away, and he gave me salvation. What more can I say? I'm happy. And I want you to get some. Can I hear an amen out there? Can I hear it a little louder? I'm feeling it in Jesus' name. I know. Thank God for Jesus. It is so good. I, I feel good. I'm feeling you in Jesus' name. I'm just going to give you a few little things, uh, pointers here. Here are 10 principles which I believe that if we uh, practice them, we will be able to live worry-free. The Ten Commandments, useful living. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, Matthew 22 and 37. And the second one is love your neighbor as yourself, Matthew 29, 32. Third one, do not judge others, Luke 6 and 37. Give to others and you will receive from God. And the fourth, forgive others and God will forgive you. Five, love your enemies. Six, do good to them that hate you. Seven, bless those who curse you. Eight, forget the past problems, move towards the future. And number nine, thank God for your victory. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 57. Father God, we thank you for your word, O Lord God. And for all of those viewers who are out there, Lord God, may they call into this telecast and let them know that God loves them by a point of contact. Let them log on to jerrysgospel.com, Lord, with just a kind word to say, yes, Brother Thompson, we've received your word today. And we love you. We love this ministry. We love what God is doing in your life. And we want to be a part of that. Call that number on the screen. Log on to jerrysgospel.com. Email me and tell me what you felt, how this ministry has been a blessing to you. May God bless you. And thank you for tuning in to Vision of Truth. And remember, without a vision, the people perish. Don't worry. God bless you. Vision of Truth is graciously funded through the purchase of CDs and DVDs, through those buying and selling a home or business, through individuals who require a bridge loan, or by simply booking Jerry Thompson for your next special event. Visit us at visionoftruth.com or call us at 647-692-7793. Are you seeking to market your talent nationally or internationally? We can do this for you for as little as $500. Book your slot now. Log on to visionoftruth.com or call 647-692-7793. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is so wonderful to see that we're still serving the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. Please support this ministry right now by calling this number on the screen and ordering your CD by Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Please call now and support this ministry and help us get guns off the street.
that's it. Oh, hey. I'm not a preacher, man, that's coming with you, throwing the Bible at you, looking down at you. I am you, my brother. But with a difference, I made a choice. And the choice that I chose was Jesus Christ. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I trust that this telecast has been a blessing to you. I want to thank you all for tuning in to Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. Because without you, we can't have a ministry. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd also like you to know that the music that you've heard playing in the background entitled One Day at a Time, and uh, For Those Tears I Die, and Why Me Lord, is available on CD and DVD. You can also call us at 647-692-7793. That's 647 692 Seven seven nine three. We need your support. Without your support, this ministry will cease to exist. So call that number on the screen right now. Uh, 647-692-7793. Or simply log on to visionoftruth.com and place your orders of CDs, DVDs. If you don't want a, co a complete album, you can also just log on to iTunes and purchase each song that you've heard uh, for only 99 cents. That's right. They're only 99 cents for each song through iTunes. Also, tweet us as well as uh, Facebook. Just We're also on Facebook, so you can also just look up uh, Reverend Jerry Thompson on Facebook and let us know that you're watching out there. Please pass, uh, pass the word on and let them know that Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry is here for you, to you, and because of you. We thank you for your support. And if you'd like to have me in your community to come to do crime and drug prevention, work, workshops, motivational seminar, empowerment seminar, also to preach the word of God. I'm also available as a chaplain to visit in prisons, schools, hospitals, wherever it is, wherever the pain is, that's where I want to be. Because on Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry, we light candles. We don't curse darkness. May God bless you. Until next time. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is so wonderful to see that we're still serving the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. Please support this ministry right now by calling this number on the screen and ordering your CD by Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Please call now and support this ministry and help us get guns off the street. That's it. Oh. Sometimes in life it may seem that you are alone, but you're not alone. God is with you. Vision of Truth Outreach Ministries, where a nobody can become a somebody. Why? Because I was you, but with a difference. I got involved in drugs and crime and on my way to take a man's life. But I'm one of the stories that turned out good. And I got many stories like mine to bring to you each and every week from around the world. Remember, man's reject is God's project. And who God hires, no man fire. Amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do.